Here's a game, The Political Machine 2016. Now I've played The Political Machine before, uh, the previous one, 2012 must have been. Um, and uh, yeah, I fairly, I fairly enjoy this. It's just like a sort of daft uh, political running simulator where you get to you get to create your own running person and then win the win the US. That's how the elections work, isn't it? Aren't they? Uh, either way, I've never actually played this one before, so we're just gonna dive straight on in. Uh, version 1.0, time played, fuck all. Okay, let's dive on in then. So we're gonna go new game. Uh, game length 21 weeks. We'll, we'll make it. We'll make it medium. 26 weeks. Starting fun 100% difficulty. Let's set the difficulty to. Oh my god, normal. That's a feel fiercer, but let's go beginner because it's been it's been a long time. Uh, we won't bother with any of that. Let's keep it all keep it all reasonable. Um, we'll create. So this is the fun part. You get to, oh, you can actually like doof their little bubble head. That's cute. Uh, you can pick from the previous uh, from from the actual people who are running. Jeb Bush, he's out. He's out now, isn't he? Could be. Uh, I got Jim. I got Joe Biden. You got Kasich. Uh, let's look at the the main ones. Marco Rubio. He's got the he's got the good fundraising ability. He's good across the board. Charisma, credibility. Where's the racism counter? Where's the bigotry counter? There isn't one. Okay. Um, O'Malley. Bloom, but we could go. We could just run as Michelle Obama. We could go full on shell. She's not got very much experience though. She'll struggle. Mike Huckabee. Where's the where where's where are the big ones? Oh, well, we didn't actually start from the top. Cool. Got a uh, there's Al Gore himself, Ben Carson, complete madman, isn't he? Um, there's Bernie Sanders. He is seven four seven oh. He's got all the charisma. He doesn't have much appearance, poor Bernie Sanders. Bless him. To be fair, he doesn't really look like he could run a country, but I reckon he probably could. Um, there's Bill. There's Clinton. Clinton himself. Where's the other one? There he is. Donald Trump. Ten for the money. He's all about the money. Look at him. Actually, like, I feel like. I feel like Sanders facially looks more like Donald Trump than Trump does. There you go. He's got all the money. He's got not got much credibility though. Yeah, that's that's pretty true. And uh, but either way, we're not going to be bothering with any of that. Where's Clinton? There she is. There's the other Clinton. We are going to be making our own character. How do we make our own character? No, there we go. We are going to be. We're going to be Eagle. No, we're going to be. Um, we're going to be. Uh, we're going to be Tex Eagle. The most American man to ever have lived. It could be a de Democrat, it could be a Republican. Let's uh, let's be a Democrat. I'm probably a Democrat myself. Where are we from? It could be from Nevada. Let's be from my personal favourite state, Wyoming. Nothing, nothing. There's nothing in Wyoming. Uh, appearance: We're going to be a gentleman male. We can customise our figurehead though. That's the fun part. So what can we get? We got like various. We could just go casual attire. We could give him just a t-shirt. Suspend America suspenders always classy. Robot body could be fun. Uh, so yeah, as you can probably tell, this is quite a facetious, uh, f love bit brilliant. Sold, sold. Just chilling, chilling on the throne. Uh, uh, we can change the color. Let's make a shirt. Of course, red, white, and blue. Well, I mean, we're trying to get, we are trying to get. You know, this is this is a, this is we're trying to win here. Uh, we can give them a little prop. A sword. I, I like the idea of a sword. So yeah, yeah. As I was saying, this is this is quite a facetious look at uh, American politics. So I don't take anything too seriously. That the the, expre the uh, opinions expressed in the making of this video do not reflect the views of the creator, are they? Yeah, as, as you know. Let's give him a sword. And there he is, Tex Eagle, majestic, beautiful creature. Looks like some sort of old money character, paradoxically uh, running as a as a. Democrat, but we'll handle that when it comes to it. Either way, now, he's from Wyoming, mate. we've got 10 points to put in the characteristics as we see fit. We've got stamina, we've got money, we've got fundraising, charisma, experience, credibility, experience, etc. Etc. Let me just, hang on, tilt my screen slightly. There we go. You wouldn't have been able to see that, but it did happen. So I'm not a religious gentleman in the slightest. So I'm like, nope, no thought. We'll keep, we'll keep one just so that, like, some religious people are like, it might be. Uh, minority appeal seems fair. Media bias. I'm not sure what that means. Issue determines how much the press likes your candidate when, uh, which can sway independent voters. Well, independent voters are important to get. Uh, intelligence uh, increases the responses available during an interview. Well, that could be quite important. Let's put that up to eight. Experience uh, makes it easier to win. Just flat out. Dorsman, <laughs> fair enough. Political capital cost. We'll keep, we'll keep that fairly high. Credibility. Um, well, it's probably good to keep our credibility as well. Appearance. I'll maybe go up a couple of points for appearance. 
Charisma, it's important to be charismatic. That's what I've, if I've inferred anything from politics, it's definitely, definitely that you want to keep your, keep your appearance up. We'll put it down to six because the rest cost two. And then we've got starting money, stamina, and fundraising. So I'm thinking two points of fundraising, one point of stamina, and we are good to go. Right, let's go win America. Oh, hang on, we've got our platform to do first. My God, what is our political platform? Well, abortion rights are important. We'll put abortion rights up quite a bit, but about 10. A strong military? We don't really need a strong military. But at the same time, fuck ISIS. Blame it all on ISIS. Nah, we'll keep that at zero. Keep that neutral because it's quite a quite a hot issue. Start at the bottom then. Religious freedom. We don't give a shit about religious freedom. Video game violence. We have... We, oh, hang on. Do we oppose? I mean, we don't want to oppose or favour video game violence, really. That doesn't make much sense. Wall Street regulation. Wall Street regulation's important. Let's uh, let's let's get the let's get the the young protest group. War on drugs. We slightly oppose the what we yeah a little bit more than slightly oppose because it's just harmful. Things could be handled a lot better in that regard, and I think I would want to change that. Traditional values. I mean, we don't really traditionalism is holding the world back. We don't want that. The war on terror. We'll keep that neutral. The environment. Keep that neutral as well because we want to keep things. You know, we don't want people to like, be swayed by that kind of shit. Tax cuts! Uh, we, we support tax cuts a bit. Supporting green jobs, that's kind of important. GMO trade, supporting gay marriage. Gay marriage, there's no reason why gay people can't be married. It's unfair. Uh, support for Israel. Nah, fuck, fuck Israel. I oppose supporting Israel. What are they up to? Student loan reform, we've got no official state in that. State unions, social security, we've got all sorts of issues here. What's that? Uh, what, what do we what do we feel strongly for? Uh, we we oppose NSA surveillance because that's just uh, that's just wrong. Free n n neutrality, more money for education, legalization of marijuana could be that could be quite funny. Uh, law law enforcement, the Keystone Pipeline. I mean, I I I support law enforcement. I suppose why not? Let's boost it up a little bit. Okay, law enforcement's good. Let's do it. We are ready to go and take over America. Great, so who are we who are we facing? Is this us picking our... Wait, what's happening here? Alright, we're Tex Eagle. And this is our opponent. Who are we opposing? We got a various... We got the... Oh, there, there it is. There's the music. Ted Cruz, complete, absolute maniac lunatic. We could, we could oppose him. Who the hell is Rand Paul? He looks shifty as anything. Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush. I'm thinking we head off against Cruz himself. Lunatic gentleman that he is. Oh, he's a shifty. I don't like Ted Cruz at all. Eagle versus Cruz. I mean, that's like, know, there's a born winner here. So basically, we've got to go about the states and then just like take action in them. So what we want to do is we want to start on a firm base. We want to set up uh, an HQ or something like that. We've got our HQ in our home state actually, so we could uh, we could upgrade it. Yeah, we can upgrade. We can upgrade our campaign headquarters here, which would cost a little bit, but I think I think that's quite important. I think that's quite important. So let's keep let's let's move that up. Upgrade our our uh, our home base in there. Next, we can create ads, give speech, fundraising, build an HQ. It's, it's it's all pretty simple stuff. We could upgrade again. Just put it up by ninety to ninety thousand. How much money have we got? Two million. That's actually fairly affordable. Let's do it. Bam! We've got ourselves a free political operative that we can move about as we see fit. He increases awareness by one percent in a state, so we could maybe just move him somewhere important to keep him. Send them to Texas and see if we can take Texas from under them. Is that all we can do in this turn? It looks like it, yeah. So we end our turn and then we see what happens next. Uh, typically you'd want to be making speeches and stuff in a turn, so there's Cruz just kicking around. So, uh, currently we're not very favoured in Wyoming, which is a problem considering it's our actual home. So we should maybe try and take over Wyoming. I think that could be a solid idea. What are our assets? Our assets are a political operative and the campaign HQ. Okay. Okay, okay. Right, so let's uh, let's start. We'll head off into uh, head off into California and try and raise some funds because we need a bit of money. Fundraising, do it. Give me the funds. We are up to a good three hundred eighty-seven thousand, so we've paid off most of our shit. So let's go over into Texas and see if we can take over Texas because I think that's a good that's a good check. Can we just build another uh, build another? Uh, another thing? we could get an outreach center for endorsements, consulting office. Oh uh, well. Figure that. I don't. I don't think we should really be building things in uh, in Texas, though. Let's uh, let's give a speech. 
give a speech. We need to raise awareness and go on the issue. So let's say that uh, we could go for smear, or we could just try and uh, try and drop the old I I support gun rights. Do it. Oh, we gained three percent in Texas. Good, we're winning. Hooray! Let's keep things going here then. Uh, we don't have enough. Uh, we don't have enough capital. To, uh, we don't have enough uh, points. Uh, I should explain. You got your money here. You got your stamina, and you've got your uh, various other things here. We can't do anything with those though. Uh, once your stamina's out, you've got to end your turn, so let's end our turn again. There's a political opportunity in Tennessee. You travel there before your opponent notices it. Well, what I want to do first before we do that is maybe build an outreach centre. Is that what I'm looking for? Or do we want political capital? Let's get the political capital. And then we'll head over to Tennessee. We're off. See you in hell, Cruz. Bam! Time waster! Back in my day, we didn't have fancy A-roll plans to move around. The only way to campaign in the next state would be to hitch 27 straight cats to a wheeled soapbox. Oh, it depleted our remaining stamina. What was the point in that? We just got buggered by a time waster. Honestly. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure if we can, uh, how, how we go about winning this. So we're in Tennessee. So let's try and, uh, let's try and, you know, we could run up a, we could create an advert. That's are expensive, but boost our issue ratings over time. Oh, but then we would have to decide what's our main thing. We could just, I favour fighting ISIS. Or my opponent opposes fighting ISIS, and that would make everybody not like Ted Cruz as much. That could be a better idea. Let's do it. Ground game or a TV? Oh, we can make a TV ad. That's more expensive, though. Let's just smear him. Let's smear Cruz. Go for it. Yeah. Eagle blasts Cruz. We blasted him. We gave him a good old-fashioned blast. And let's try and take Tennessee. Tennessee, you would expect to be Cruz all the way. But at the same time, Tennessee, Cruz is of, a, of an ethnic origin. So, they would be risking quite a lot being in Tennessee. How much would it cost to build a... Um, to build something, anything, another campaign headquarters. No, um, okay. Let's just uh, let's give a speech. We'll give a we we'll give a we'll give a speech. See if we can get them going. I favor fighting ISIS, and Ted Cruz hates fighting ISIS. Fuck Cruz. An extra two percent Tennessee. Good, good, good. Keep it going, and then that should be the end of our turn. I don't think we've got enough enough left to fundraise. We are running out of money though, which is an issue. Click operatives to cash in your points. You can sell an office of speeches. Right enough. Oh, cool. How do we do that? There, operatives. Who are we going to hire? Can you get a fixer? Can you get a consultant? Can you get a speechwriter? Oh, well. An intimidator lowers your opponent's by awareness by 4% per week. And says, yeah, that sounds good to me. Let's get a, let's get ourselves an intimidator. How do we select him? Where is he? There he is. We'll send our intimidator down into Texas as well so that we can take Texas out. Okie dokie. Right. So we're going to want to... We're going to want to raise some funds, first things first, in this place. So we're going to... We're, we're gonna, we're gonna head over back to, back to Texas, cause Texas they've all got the money. Go for it. Two hundred. Oh God, cause they're red. What was I thinking? Um, okay. So no, no, not fundraising. I've done it again. No, cancel. Let's give a speech here. We'll try. Keep, we keep trying to take Texas out from under them. So we've got more issues this time. I support green jobs. Three percent extra. Nice. We are almost pulling ahead. Not bad. Not bad. Turn. What happens next? Right. Weekly news wrap up. We got a new, Ted, H, Ted Cruz has got a new HQ and he's started an advert saying that he wants to fight. Oh shit! He wants to fight ISIS, but we've also set up our one about him not fighting ISIS. This is uh, questionable. Texas is now contested, which is fun. This is working. So let, how about we build another? Oh, you can only build one thing per area, of course. How much would it cost to upgrade five hundred thousand? We we can't afford that right now. Uh, how about we create an ad in Texas? Saying that we favour gun rights at the ground game. Yep, yeah, do it. Nice one. We've got an ad going. Where else are we going to go? Where can we go? Where can we go? Where will we be? We should maybe make sure that California stick to us. Where's another important state? I mean, where is? where are they? Where are they? New Jersey, that's nearly there. Pennsylvania, nope. New York, there we are. We want to go to New York and take over New York. He's got a campaign headquarters there though, which is a tactical decision on his part. I bet we build a campaign headquarters here as well. Ha ha ha, Cruz, you think you can win. There's a political opportunity in New Mexico. Well, that can definitely be done. We're falling behind in the early polls. Oh shit, I hope we don't lose. Do we maybe upgrade this? Yeah, do it. Right, now where are we going? Where was this political opportunity? There we go. And then we can take over New Mexico while we're at it. Good. Cheerleader doubles all awareness in a target state. Do we get to now pick a... Oh, cool. Should we do Texas or should we try and take New York from under them? 
Texas could be quite important. Let's do Texas. Do it. Give me all your shit. Okie dokie. So we still got a little bit of awareness left, so how about we just give a speech here? What do you reckon New Mexico like? Reducing unemployment. Well, they seem really keen on reducing it. How about we say that our opponent opposes reducing unemployment? That could be important. Do it. Ted Cruz hates the unemployed. He wants them dead. We seem to be, he seems to be dominating in the center here. Have we got enough to hire another operative? I'm not sure, where does it say? Total, we got one. Oh shit, probably not then. Where does it say our political capital? Oh we do, we've got five, we have enough to hire somebody. Charisma plus ten, speeches become more effective. Well we want one of them, let's get a speech writer, good. Uh, next turn I think we're gonna build another, uh, we're gonna build another building somewhere. We've got an opportunity to be interviewed on 60 seconds in Florida. Which is also a good place for us to, a good place for us to take over. Right, National Foreign Policy Committee. Ted Cruz has won the endorsement of the Foreign Policy Committee, so he gets plus 10 to fighting ISIS and minus 5 to Iranian nuclear deal. Would you like to appear on 60 Seconds? Well, you're damn right, here we are. Here he is. Tonight, a special report on the dangers of the internet. Are you one of millions of Americans who take arguing on message boards too seriously? I'm Leslie Danger. We'll have that story and more on 60 Seconds. Our nation has suffered a number of high-profile mass shootings in the past few years. What should we do about this? Well, more kung fu training for everybody. We don't need more gun control, and we need more. Well, I, th I feel like we'd be flip flopping if we said we need more gun control. So we better, we better go for don't need more gun control. Oh, they weren't too keen on that, but I'm sticking to my guns here. Let's try and take the NRA out from under them. Uh, right, it's been decades since America seriously invested in infrastructure. How can we see the results? It's come with busy videos. Go with this. Bring on the apocalypse. Privatize infrastructure or rebuild via a massive stimulus bill. Uh. Let's do it. Rebuild. Stimulus bill. Oh, they loved it. They loved it. Right. Is that it? We did it. Okay. Strong showing on 60 seconds. When's the independence? Right. We've got some independence back. So let's build a... What are we looking for? Yes. A PR. PR outreach centre. Do it. Community outreach. Nice. Good times. Now we need to get a bit of funds, but we're not in a good, we're not in a good place for that. How much does fundraising cost? Two, three, three. How much would it cost to travel? Though that's the question. Bollocks, there. Let's just fundraise in Florida and hope for the best. 135. That's nothing. Purple states indicate a close race. So if if, if they go purple, then it's just like it's hotly contested. Uh, right. Simple as that. Oh, they're hotly contesting. Oh, we're winning them. We're winning over Texas. But he's just got all of the center here. Is to Wyoming? No. Why? Why Wyoming? You're. <laughs> okay. Let's try and take Florida. Then we'll give a speech. To try and take Florida. What do, what do you reckon? What do you reckon the Floridians enjoy? I mean, Black Lives Matter would be quite important. A strong military. They do favour a strong military. How about Black Lives Matter though? We'll get some Black Lives Matter. Do it. Yeah, we got plus three in Florida. That's important. That is important. Let's try and win some of the, some of the, uh, some of the other states. Oh, we could try and take New York again. I think it's better to just bolster what we've got going on in uh, Texas. Let's create another ad. Can we afford that? I don't think we can afford another ad, actually. No, let's not. We'll just fundraise in Texas. We'll probably get a bit more this time. 231. Uh, okay, turnover. There's political opportunity in California. Let's get on that. But uh, we should maybe... Oh, can we hire a new operative? Sweet. Who, 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 do you, who do you reckon? Media bias. Interviews become more effective. Appearance ad becomes more effective. Decreases your advertising and maintenance costs. Well, that could actually be not bad. Spin Doctor. Increases your issue ratings. But target state is so selective. Select the fixer and right-click on it. Oh, so a fixer could just eliminate an enemy. How about we just uh, we get a PR consultant to bolster? Because we're, we're good with ads already, so let's try and make them work more. Um, I think we are, actually, we are actually winning in Texas right now, so let's try and take California back. Who's this guy? Who's he got here? He's got a wee definer. Oh, how dare he? How dare he? Let's give a speech. We'll give a speech. Uh, what do you reckon the Californians enjoy? They're a pretty dem. They're they're pretty Democrat state. We support gay marriage. Go on then. Yes, an extra four. They enjoyed that. They enjoyed that a lot. Could we build another HQ? Maybe another campaign? No, we've got we've got two campaign headquarters already. We've got one up in New York. We don't want to be doing that. He's going blue, so California is probably going to be ours. It's looking like we'll probably take Texas as well because he's going to have to do some stuff. So I'm thinking maybe head back to Florida in the future. Maybe uh, take some of the central central states as well. Uh, okay, so, maybe maybe fundraising then. Give me some dosh. 382, that's the kind of money that we're looking for. That's the kind of money. Okie dokie. 
Right, so we're getting uh, we're getting political clout gradually. Eventually, we're going to be able to just like get um, get uh, uh, like the the uh, like a group to on on our on our side, hopefully. Uh, but you never know. Right, let's head back to Florida. See if we can take over Florida. Where are we? There we go. There we are. Eagle. Back we come. Back we come. We're getting there. We're getting there. Nice. Now, can we upgrade our uh, upgrade our headquarters? That'd be five hundred thousand. We've got just enough. Do it. Bam. Oh, we've turned them blue. Get it round you. Nice one. Could give a speech, or could we head somewhere else? How much would it cost to give a speech? All of it. Okay, we might as well then. If I know, we should fundraise. Fundraise. Do it. Raise the funds. And then where are we going next time? Uh, we could maybe try and bolster our support in the old, the old NYC. That could be important. Seeing as they are winning as well, we want to take New York from under them. Let's head over to New York. No, we need to select ourselves first. Boom. And then we'll end our turn when we get there. Good, good, good. Cruz, you son of a bitch. He's trying to take Hawaii. Oh, how dare you. Right, let's give a speech. What are we? Let's slander them. Let's slander them. Our opponent opposes... Our opponent opposes a strong military. I think that's a good idea. Do it. Nice. Ted Cruz. Oh, shit. He's got the Tea Party movement. So tax cuts are... He doesn't want tax cuts, does he? We need outright... Seriously need some endorsements. We do need... We do seriously need some endorsements, but it's just no on the cards, pal. 